Good day, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Skyrim. It feels weird to say that because, you know, uh, oblivion. So, I don't think I've looted this place. And I should do that, right? Because I might find some good stuff in here. Now, let's see. Uh, these urns are empty. This one has something. A potion and some gold. I will take them. Empty... With this one. This one has something. Is a potion. It's nice that, uh, you know, in Skyrim, uh, containers actually tell you if they're empty or not. Because uh, it saves you time, basically. Although sometimes I still uh, check them even if they're empty. Don't know why. Force of habit, I guess. So I'm going to take the gold from the dead jogger because. Oh, that <laughs> one's alive. Not alive. That one's dead, I can. Let's see, iron boots. What kind of boots do I have on? Um, oh, iron boots, so I don't need more. Oh! You scared me! Maybe I should switch to a one hand. Although, you know what? You know what? I might try to stick with a two handed weapon for now. And if I find uh, something cool, I'll switch, I guess? I don't know. Never really completed the game with a two-handed weapon. I usually switch to one-handed. Okay, I'll do that, that thing already. Although I kind of want the war axe. I do like war axes in Skyrim. Okay, what else can I loot? Can't loot those skeletons. I mean, I need all of the gold I can get, so... Okay, I have to walk around this thing, because usually I step on that pressure plate and uh, bad stuff happens. <laughs> I think that thing could, could insta-kill me, right? No? No, no, that trap seems dangerous. Up. Oh, a steel ingot. I will take that. Let's see. I uh, am going to increase my health. And let's go to this side. Maybe my two hand that I'll do that. Although I do good damage, but I want to do more, I guess. Uh, and uh, when I level up next, I think I'll increase my uh, block skill. Uh, cause it seems useful. Right? Oh, you have a bow! Wait, I think I... Uh, checked that corpse, so... Uh, that jogger, I should say, not corpse. I'll take that shield, I'll actually sell it, I think. Don't really need the bow and arrows, because I think my hunting bow... Or what kind of bow do I have? A hunting bow? Doesn't it do the same damage? Maybe not, this one might be better. Nah, it's this. Wait, is it... Damage 10 and... Well... I could take it. But I won't be using it that much, I feel like. Oh, okay, I'm alive. Let's deactivate it in case I have to run back there. You know? Okay, I should try to kill you quickly. Loop. And you're dead. Let's see... This one's actually better than the one that I have? What? I thought the steel one was better. Let's see, damage. Ah, it's the same. It's just visually... It weighs more and it's not as valuable, I guess. Could try it out for now. 
Ah yes, with the upgraded textures, it looks much better. So I'm going to hit this thing and burn that dragger, cause why not? Ugh! I injured myself. Now those two dumb ones will walk into the fire. Great. I should actually heal myself. I. Oh, oh my god, it's annoying when that happens. You know what? I'm going to. There we go. I guess I'll use the steel one because I didn't favor it. The other one. Ooh, this one has a soul gem and it actually glows. And because I have a mod installed that uh, makes it do that, I guess. When it's filled. So that's cool. over here. So I put on the cloak and the earrings that I had. I mean, why not? Although they're useless to me, but you know, I just thought I'd put them on. What's in here? A scroll of mass paralysis. I will take it because it costs 500 coins, which is a lot, and I need the gold, so why not? What else do we have here? No more en I don't think it there should be enemies for now. Although there might be one below. It's been a while, I don't remember. What's in here? Iron gauntlets, iron great sword, lockpick scroll, septum is great. Oh, you noticed me. Can I push you over the edge? Come on, I want to push him, but I can Or her, I should say, that's a female. Oh well, well, it fell down at least. And I can still search it, which is nice. I think there might be stuff down below, let's see. A skiver and a skeleton, which has a few septums. Ah, a chest. Nothing in here. Honestly, I shouldn't have went down there. Nothing good was... And that chest. Well, at least I got a few septums out of it. Wait, am I going the correct way? I think I am. You have on you. Just the sword. Ah, okay. Well, maybe something good will be in this chest. Oh my god. Armor. Which I don't need. I'm so used to oblivion and just jumping around in that game. Because you know that's how you would increase your acrobatics or whatever. And I just do it in Skyrim. Again, force of habit. <laughs> I can't stop. I mean, I'm trying my hardest not to jump around, but I'm so used to it. It's just. Okay, I think there might be enemies here.
Yep, let's kill this one first, because he's the closest to us. That one has a bow in it. You know what, I'll go and loot around. Hello there! <laughs> some kind of trap act oh my god that could have killed me here. Well, at least I can't see anything useful. Ah! We're here. This is where we will finally use the Golden Claw. Let's see. Okay, what do we have? Bear, a moth, and what's that? An owl? I think we need to press it two times, right? Yep. The easiest puzzle. So this is where the bandits try to get to, I guess. But I feel like they would have all died if they went here. I don't know. I feel like they would have been killed. This looks so different from the vanilla game. Probably because of the ENB and textures and whatever, but it looks very realistic, I should say. I guess. I don't know. Because usually in the vanilla game, first of all, it's very bright, so... I like it. Ah, the word wall. Word of power learned, force, unrelenting force. Let's see, now we need to bring the claw to Lucan. But I believe there should be an enemy. Yes, let's try to do as much damage as we can to him right now before he... And he has an enchanted weapon, which I will take. That was easy. Ancient Nord Greatsword of Cold target takes 5 points of frost damage to health and stamina. I will take you and I will equip you. There we go, let's see, number 1. What else is here? Weak Frenzy Poison, a soul gem. And there's a Master Chest. What do we have here? Hide buckler, do you need that? Iron great sword. Iron helmet of minor destruction. I mean, I'll take it. Because I could use a helmet when I go into battle. Lockpicks, another skull. Gold and uh, steel sword, which I don't need, so I'm not going to take it. Because I don't want to get over encumbered like I was in basically the whole playthrough of Oblivion. <laughs> That was horrible. Anything up here? No. Ah, another chest. How much gold do I have? Oh, 1,500. Not bad. I'm going to sell the junk that I have to Lucan, I guess, because I feel like... He might have better prices right now since, you know, when when I give him the claw, I mean, you know. So we'll see. Okay, ooh, it's very beautiful. But very dark. So, I could fast travel to the town. There is a mod that I've installed, a follower mod, I guess. Let's see, Riverwood. Uh, 
Somewhere near the guardian stones, that's where you have to go to activate it. Basically it has a store and whatever. Which I might start it today, I don't know. I guess I should because the creator of the mod said that it's best started at the beginning of the game because... Interactions, I guess. I know with different quests, so we might go there. Because I would like to go to White Run in this episode as well. I wonder if I can sleep in Advar's uncle's house. What's his name? Uh, Alvar. Alvar. And Sigrid. Let's see if there's a bed available for me. Owned. I can sleep with that woman. Sure. Why not? It's 12 p.m. So let's sleep for 9 hours. Great. Now we can give the claw to Lucan, finally. So we might actually activate that quest, you know? Uh, that mod, I guess, not quest. Oh, didn't mean to press that. Hello, Lucan, I have your claw. Show those thieves not to steal from Lucan Valerius. I don't know if I like this mod, it feels weird when it switches characters that fast. Anyway, I have the golden claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Now I'll Thank sell things you to so you. so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. That bread looks really realistic. Let's oh, see what he has for sale. A bit of that. A bit of this and a bit of that. Okay. Uh, nothing interesting, I think. Anyway, let's just sell something. This sword, I don't need it. I think I'll sell the steel sword as well. Let's see. Can sell the rings. One of these. Because I don't need to. And I love that. This is awesome. Might keep that helmet for now. Because uh, it might be good for enchanting stuff. How much does he have? One gold? Well, sold everything I can to you. So let's go and try to activate that mod. Uh, if it works, I should level up also, actually. Let's see, level up. Let's do stamina again. And block. So it's somewhere over here, near some kind of uh, small waterfall or something, so... What the hell was that sound? Apparently I have to hear noises, uh, cries for help or something like that, so... I mean, there's a waterfall over there, so... it's near the guardian stones i mean when you add more trees to skyrim it looks very different doesn't it hey over here please help who the hell said that i know that's a modded voice <laughs> um over here ah, i see a woman a woman who are you, Rose? Uh, what is it? You need to help me. There's a wounded girl over there by the cliff. Calm down and tell me what this is all about. They're looking in the wrong place. What? She's too heavy for me to move. Help me carry her to safety. I have a camp not far from here on the lake. She'll be safe there if she survives. Oh my god. Who's looking for her? The Thalmor. The Thalmor. I haven't met them yet. Um, 
Uh, okay, I'll help you. Lead the way. This way. I mean, if it's a shakedown, I can just easily kill her, so... I'm not worried about that. So far, the quality seems nice. At least, uh... I saw what happened. They chased her to the cliff edge. She jumped into the canopy of that tree above to escape. It saved her fall mostly, but she's badly injured. But if we can get her to my boat, she might survive. Please, if you carry her, I'll lead the way. Yeah, well, if you would walk. Where is she? She here somewhere? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, look, I'm actually carrying her. This can't way. see her face Follow because me. I have a Take it freaking easy and be cool. careful. Oh my god, could you walk? She has those vampire armor boots on, right? Or something like that. Anyway, but this is cool actually. See, Skyrim should have had these things, you know? Animations like that, they could have had th added them. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do? Put her on the rock? Why are we standing here? Over here? No, that's we not- We need another route. Up here. This way. Oh, she's walking very strangely. Well... I wonder if I wouldn't have killed those Not bandits right would she have attacked them. Wait here. Let me make sure the coast is clear. Oh my god, there's nobody here. I've been here, I've killed everybody. <sighs> I'm just going to slowly walk towards her because I know I can do that, I think. Okay, it's clear. Come on. Well, at least it's interesting. I, I like it so far, although I haven't done anything or know anything about it yet, so... Ah, oh, I see some kind of camp. Is, is that her camp? Probably. Here, quickly. Who's that? Those! Are you mad? They'll kill us! I'm not letting those bastards push us around, Hedron. Who's this stranger? Can we trust her? Sometimes you have to do what is right, even if it means risking everything. Put her in the boat. Okay. I don't want to take the war. How am I supposed to? Oh, uh, 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 okay. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I just put her like a. What? Where are we go? Are we going to fight things? She did not tell me that. Don't know what the hell is happening, so I think I'll make the first episodes longer because right now it's what 24 minutes long. Yeah, I need to make the episodes longer at least at the beginning because a lot of stuff's happening, so don't know where we're going to the other side of the lake. My camp is over there. Pick her up and put her on the bedroll. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Where the hell am I actually? Oh, well, at least I'm not that far from uh, Riverwood. Rose's camp discovered. Well, where am I supposed to put her? Here? There we go. Hey, let's take a look under this armor. Oh my. I. There's a deep cut running about her midriff. She's lucky she wasn't disemboweled. She has lost a lot of blood. Am I supposed to talk to you or what? We will need to gather some things or she won't survive. Would you stay and help? Honestly, I don't really care, but... Sure, I guess. Dialogue available. Ooh, it's nice that it says that dialogue's available, I guess. Uh, what do you need? Take the boat back to the Guardian Stones. Then go to the Riverwood Trader. Talk to Luke and Valerius or his sister Camilla. Buy some furs and clean linen. They're good people. Will don't he give me gold, or...? Far. We don't want to bring trouble down on anyone. Of course, a healing spell might help to stabilize her if they have one, but... It's still going to be a slow recovery. What about you? I'll stay here and keep her warm and dry, but be careful. There might still be Thalmor soldiers in and around the village, so... Have an alibi ready. Oh, and don't go wandering off. If Lucan or his sister ask you to retrieve a golden claw, leave it. If you abandon her now, she may not make it. <laughs> I already did that. And, and how the here. hell do you... I retrieved that claw some time ago. Here, take this coin. What? She 
did not care about that. Anyway, uh, she said I could use her boat, so... Oh, it automatically acted interesting. Oh, and we're back where he is. Let's see, should I actually just fast travel? Because I don't want to walk. I want to save, save time. Ooh, this picture looks nice. You there, Holt. What business do you have being here? Just passing by, what seems to be the problem? Have you seen this girl pictured on this poster? No, I haven't seen her. Well, take a good look at it. And if you do, make sure you report it to the authorities. There's a sizable reward being offered for information leading to her capture. 18 years old, around 5 feet 6 inches tall, with shaven hair. All these soldiers for one young girl. She is extremely dangerous and wanted for murder. Anyone caught being involved in aiding her will be summarily <laughs> executed and their families arrested and sent to Vagenwood. Be assured they'll keep that in mind. Good, good. Be on your way now. Oh, I don't like you, not one bit. If I could, I would kill you. I'm assuming that's the girl that I rescued. There's a lot of Thelma here. Now explain yourself. What's the meaning of this interruption? There's a dangerous criminal in the vicinity. Oh I'm my god, this is very high quality. Uh, I mean the mod. Anyway, let's speak to... Maybe Lucan's sister, because I feel like she's... I don't know why I trust her more. Lucan seems very... I don't know. Like he would tell on me, you know? It means so oh, I can't to speak to her, okay? Then I'll speak to him. Ah, good to see you. Oh, well, Matt, I need some clean linen for bandages. Can you help? Got something for just about everybody in here. Oh, he hmm. gave it to me. Let's see what we can do. Great. I also need a warm fur for a kind of blanket. I think you'll appreciate this. Nice. Thank you. I trust you're not planning any trouble. No. No, just helping someone out. Again, thank you. It was a pleasure. Good luck. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, let's get to Rose. I think I can fast travel to her because I have a... Uh, you know... The place marked. Let's see. Let's fast travel there. I guess we'll go to White Run in the next episode, probably, because... I swear, these load screens make the game better. I don't know why. It's just nicer to look at and not the random floating items that you have in the vanilla game, you know? Okay, let's speak with her. The items? Oh, she's... Okay, yeah, I have them. Here's the stuff. Thank you. See those scars on her back? No. Marks of the lash. Something tells me this girl has a Oof. story to tell. We that just need awful. to keep her alive so she can tell it. I have dressed the wound as best I can with some daub. It has stopped the bleeding, but she's lost a lot of blood. These bandages will help, and we can keep her warm with the furs. The good news is she's taken some water. That is always a good sign, but there's a risk of fever, so we must keep the fire alight. So what now? What now? We wait. If she survives the next few days, there's hope. We can find out who she is, where she comes from, and I can take her home if she has one. How the hell do I know that? Oh, probably because of the bounty note, right? That's actually the name of the mod, if you're interested. Her name is Urgmar of Bruma. What? How do you know that? There are wanted posters all over Riverwood. Rigmore of Bruma, huh? Yep. 
Apparently she's wanted for murder. Well, I am not going to judge until I hear her side of the story. True. I'm Rose, by the way. And you, where are you from? I'm just a wanderer, a traveler. Well, you wandered by at the right time, it seems. I am pleased to have met you. I take it you've been hunting and fishing around these parts for years, right? <laughs> I wasn't always a hunter, and I hate fishing. Where's that? My father would always take me fishing and make me sit there by the bank, staring into the water. It made me feel dizzy and sick. <laughs> then one day he caught this huge fish and forced me to take it. I could barely hold it in my hands, and he's yelling at me, Rose, put it back! Quickly throw it back into the river! I panicked, and it slipped from my fingers and dropped onto a piece of driftwood, killing it. When I saw the blood mingling into the water, I began to cry. He never took me again. So, I do the hunting, and Hedron does the fishing. Good to know, I guess. So I guess I'll end this episode right here, then. Uh, we will continue this quest in the next one, and... Hopefully go to White Run, I think. Because this shouldn't be that long, the beginning at least of the mod. The mod is long, but anyway. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you did. I would appreciate it a lot. Uh, we will continue the mod, as I said, in the next episode and probably go to White Run. So I hope you have a very great day. Goodbye.